Hello YouTubers and subscribers and friends. Welcome to my channel. I seek out the truth. I'm going to show you how to clean an Xbox 360. Uh, I haven't taken this apart since the last time uh, I had a problem with this tray drawer stuck open. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description that shows you that if you're interested in how to repair a tray disc that's jammed and won't go back in. Uh, remember, anything you do to your Xbox 360 console or any other game console, you're going to avoid the warranty. So do this at your own risk. Here's some things you're going to need. You're going to need a torque screw, screwdriver, a number 10. You pick this up at Ace Hardware. You're going to need a uh, something to dust the dust off. I got this at a big lot, so it was really cheap. You need a screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, to take the uh, cooling fan off. And you're going to need a uh, regular screwdriver or something thin, uh, something with a hook like a dental tool or something like that to take these side panels off. And uh, I'll show you how to do it. Remember, this will avoid your warranty. Do this at your own risk. Or uh, have somebody take it to the shop and have somebody do it for you. Cleaning your Xbox 360 how-to tutorial. Let's get started. All right, we'll start on this side. There's a little, in, in the grill here, there's a little thing you can pull like that. And then this pops out. And you just pull this out right here. Because the reason we're going to need to do that is because we need to get uh, down in these little slots here. And then pop the thing so so this can come off so we can get the uh, case open there's one one two three four um five six seven eight nine of them and uh, i'm not going to show you each individual one i'm just going to pop them off and then show you afterwards all right this is what it looks like after you get this ring off right here and like i said here are the clips that go around that you got to be very very careful when you're prying these it doesn't take that much to pry it like I said, you just put this through like this, and then on this side, you see that little thing right there lifts up? You want to get your little screwdriver in there and pop it so you can just pop it right out. Be very careful or you can break these, these clips here. Now I'm going to do the other side and uh, be back after I do that. Okay, here's the second side. In this first grill, you just have to stick something right here and just pop this up, and this will pop up. And you see the tabs here? They're just straight tabs. That just, once you get one side up, it'll just snap right out. Here's the second one. Here's the same clips like the other side. Same thing. You go in and be very, very careful. Take your time. It doesn't take a lot of power or strength to, to pry these because it'll pop up as soon as you do that. And uh, here's what the inside of it looks like right there. All right, right inside here where the flashlight is, there's two tabs right there that you have to pop out at the same time spread this apart. Uh, this is uh, towards the back right here, the back right side. I don't know if you can see it right there, those two little tabs right, right there. I got them popped open right here so I could spread it apart. And then you're going to do the same side on the other side. Just be very, very careful when doing this because you don't want to break the tabs because that's what keeps your... Uh, Xbox 360 together. I'll put the flashlight there on the other one right here. I'll show you that after I get it off what it looks like. All right, this the second tab right here is pretty hard to get to. This one right here. So when you get this bottom one two undone and it's it, you put them on top and then get this one done. You're going to have to put a little pressure on this area right here where this white strip is. You're going to have to push down push down like that and at the same time pry this away but at the same time this upper tab you want to keep the screwdriver so it doesn't keep popping back in when this is together like that you want to keep the screwdriver down and so it keeps this tab off the connection and then you want to push and then pry this out like that it's going to be a little tough to do but you'll get it and this is what it looks like once it comes apart just slides right out just like that and as you can see the dirt here that's built up you get all this cleaned up with the uh, wet wipe or something like that so now we have to get to this this is what this looks like be careful this is the front of the thing you, have, you don't want to break these tabs you're going to need them so let me get to the other side here and get that off and I'll show you how to remove that okay now to get the other side of the the uh, cover off you're going to have to get you a torque set screwdriver a number 10 uh, you can see it's like a little star it's got these little ridges and you're going to have to remove this network card and there's 
these five, uh, I mean, these black little screws. There's one here, there's one here, two, three, and then four and five. Because what these screws do, they go all the way through and they hold this other part of the console uh, cover on. So you're gonna have to take this screw out here to get this network card out and then take all these out. I'm not gonna bore you with unscrewing the thing, but I have unscrewed this network card and it just pulls out real easy, so don't be afraid of that. And uh, let me get started on these screws and then I'll show you how it comes off. Got all the uh, screws out, don't worry about it, uh, which ones go where. They're all the exact same size. Just put them off somewhere where they won't uh, roll away. And like I said, you're gonna need a torque screwdriver. Uh, I got this at Ace Hardware. It's only like, I don't know, five or six bucks. Now, you want to pick up the back part a little bit and then also be very careful that the front part of the uh, where the power button stuff is. You don't want to uh, break that uh, ribbon tab. As you can see, this gets to the cooling thing area. There you go. Gently pull it off. You can see all the dirt that's been collected here where the cooling fan is. This is the main reason why I'm taking this apart because I want to keep the cooling fan area clean. Set that off over there and then uh, let's get a better view here. Uh, like I said, be very careful with this front part here. There's a ribbon tab that you don't want to disconnect. Uh, but I want to get to this area there so I can clean that up. You may want to get you some Q-tips too to get in this area right here. But here's that ribbon tab I'm talking about uh, right there. Don't worry if it comes disconnected. It's easy to put back on. It just, you don't want to rip it. All right, here's a better shot of that cooling fan. See how filthy that is? I'm going to clean that. Here's a better shot of that uh, ribbon tab. Anyways, so I'm going to clean all this stuff up right here. I got some wet wipes some q-tips uh, you don't want to use any kind of electronic spray stuff like you get at Walmart or stuff like that because what happens that stuff spits out liquid and you could ruin this electronic stuff and then just go over the whole area and, and uh, clean it up and I'll show you what it looks like after I'm done cleaning all right there's the cleaning afterwards uh, what I did is uh, I removed this piece here that uh, goes goes like this. It just pops right out. And I removed the screws here. I took the fan out and I cleaned all those fans underneath. And uh, in, in the process, I knocked this off. And here's that that thing I was telling you about. But it's real easy to put back in. Um, goes to the power button, like I said. Uh, let me zoom in there. goes right there like I said this thing just pops out now it pops out very easily and then I just slide that tab in put the ring around it and then just close it like that and that's how you put the power button back on but uh, like I said you have to be very careful I had to remove that because I wanted to flip it upside down so I could shake the dust out um, because I don't like to use compressed air because I don't want to damage any connections in there or anything. Also popped this uh, tray off and I cleaned all the motherboard underneath there. This just pops straight up. Comes straight off like that. And you can see I clean all that motherboard right there. And then just pops right back in. Just like that. <coughs> if you want to learn how I, I fixed this tray from popping out, there's some gears in here. And like I said, I'll put the link to that video in the description box and uh, I was able to fix this because it's a timing issue. The gear, there's an arrow here and an arrow here and they have to be aligned with each other but face the opposite direction so this will be able to go back in if this tray ever pops out on you. I don't know what it is about the Xbox 360 but my kids love playing it more than the Xbox One and their PS4. So I tried to maintain and clean these as much as possible. Remember this is going to void your warranty. Any warranty that you have on any kind of electronic panel it will void it when you take it apart so take it apart at your own risk just want to show you you know it does matter about keeping yourself clean you could take it to a professional have a clean or if you like me I like to save money I, I, I like to take stuff apart and uh, clean the stuff myself so that's it that's how you clean it like I said I clean this tray here be very careful this ribbon power button thing uh, 
and uh, put it all back together just do reverse of what you did and it'll go all right back together and I'll show you the finished project once I get it all put back together just gotta put this all back on right now <clears throat> like I said this just you want to be careful with this also this felt here this is a uh, keep the vibration to minimal so just be careful when you take it off and when you put it back in like I said it just pops right back in just like that so I'll be back with it all put back together all right, there we have the finished project. It is cleaned up. It's running quiet and smoothly. Got it running over there. You can see, it's move. See, the thing working perfect. Well, there you have it. That's how you clean your Xbox 360. How you take it apart and remember, do this at your own risk because you're going to void your warranty. This is, I don't know. Four or five years old so the warranty's way done past but i maintain all these consoles here for my kids uh because i can't see myself going and paying someone else to do one i could do it myself but uh any of your uh electronics keep them clean and they'll last longer for you thanks for taking the time to watch my videos and hit that subscribe button don't cost nothing it's free and uh get, 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 I'm gone.